This video is a follow up to the previous video I made regarding how to install Arch Linux on a computer in a UEFI slash GPT setup. Now the different thing that we are going to be doing in this video is that we'll be installing the home directory on a separate drive which is installed on this computer. So let's get into it. The first thing we want to do is locate the installer so you can open your app menu and come to system and then click on install Arch Linux and alternatively you can also search for install Arch Linux and the installer will launch. Once you have installed, uh, once you have launched the installer, you want to select the language in which you want to be doing this installation. I'll be doing this in English. And by the way, I'm doing this on the Plasma edition, but whatever I'm doing here is universal for all of the 12 ISOs that I offer. So since I've connected to internet, uh, my time zone has been detected automatically, but connecting to inter internet is not mandatory. So you can do this completely offline. And in that case, you'll have to manually select your time zone. So once you've selected your time zone, click on next, uh, select your keyboard layout, and once that is selected, we want to come to manual partitioning. In that video, I told you to take a look at select storage device. In this video, that is not mandatory. So what we are going to do is come to manual partitioning, click on next. And then we have two uh, drives here on this computer, this particular computer. So I have a uh, Kingston uh, 500 GB NVMe SSD, and we have a standard one terabyte hard disk drive. So what I'm going to be doing is installing the bootloader and the root directory uh, on the NVMe SSD. So this will ensure uh, easy, uh, I mean fast uh, boot up times and also fast installing, uninstalling applications, things like that. And then we'll leverage the size of the hard disk. Uh, so that's where our home directory will be. So let's go ahead and create these partitions quickly. So we want to come here and click on new partition table and we'll be doing this on a, we are doing this on a UEFI computer and we want the partitioning to be done uh, in GPT partitioning scheme. So you want to make sure GUID partition table is selected. Click on OK. And we are going to be creating, like I said, our two mandatory partitions uh, or in the SSD. So we are going to create the EFI system partition where the bootloader will reside. Uh, and a minimum of 300 MB bytes is recommended. I'm just going to show you, uh, I'm going to go ahead with 500 just to show you. And the file system is going to be FAT32 and the mount point is going to be slash boot slash EFI. And I want to set the flag to boot and click on OK. Now, I'm also going to create uh, the root partition as I just said, which will hold the Linux file system. This is also a very mandatory partition. So we're going to click on create and then we are going to use all of this in this case. Uh, and then the file system is going to be ext4. Again, you can go ahead and use uh, ButterFS, RiserFS, whatever you want to use. For simplicity, we'll stick to ex, uh, ext4. And uh, the mount point is going to be root, which is just one slash. And we want to set the root flag here and click on OK. And we are done here. Now, if you are on an older system, uh, which I don't think you will be because if you have a hybrid setup like this, which has an SSD and a hard disk as well, you probably have a lot of RAM installed. In this particular case, I have 16 gigs of RAM installed. Uh, but just in case if you are on an older system with like one, two or four GB RAM, you would want to create a extra partition here, which is swap. Uh, swap acts like your virtual memory, but I'm not going to be creating this in this uh, system because I have plenty of RAM here installed. So the final partition that we want to create is our home partition, but we'll not create that on the SSD. We, like I said, we'll leverage the size of the hard disk and create our partition here. So let's go ahead and create a new partition table. Uh, this is going to be again GPT and all we have to do is use all of the space 931.51 GBs uh, and allocate that as our home directory, home partition. And we don't need to set any flags here and you can just go ahead and click on next. And this is pretty much basic like I discussed in the previous video. Let me just open a terminal to show you what will come. So what is your name is going to be displayed on your login screen and uh, according to that your username will come. So live view, this is, whenever you open a terminal, this is going to be a username and this is going to be a computer name. So let's go ahead and set that up. Let me close the terminal. So let's say I want my name uh, to appear on the login screen as demon killer with DNK in caps. This is going to be my username. And let's say I'm going to call my computer test. So it will be demon killer at test in the terminal. And now I can just set a password for the demon killer user. And I can, I'm, I'm going to be using the same password for the administrator account. So anything that I'm doing with sudo will require this similar password. If you want extra security, uh, this is generally uh, promoted that you use a different password for the administrator account. For simplicity and for ease of use, I'll be using the same password. Click on next, and click on install, and that's pretty much it. 
So you can sit back, relax, wait for the installer to do its work, and I'll be back when this is done. All right, so we are done with installing Arch Linux on, our both, on both our disks, and all you have to do is click on Restart and click on Done, and I'll see you once we log in into our freshly installed system just to show you uh, how you can access the partitions in your file manager. All right, so once you have logged in into your fresh installation of Arch Linux, uh, let me just quickly show you what we have here. So the hard disk, which is one terabyte SDA, uh, has the home partition on it. And the NVMe SSD, uh, which is basically uh, NVMe 0 and 1, has your, uh, your EFI system partition as well as your root partition. And uh, on the file manager, which is Dolphin in the case of Plasma, uh, you right click here on properties and you can see that the entire, this is a slash dev slash SDA1 and your entire one terabyte is here, which is this thing over here. And uh, if you go to, if you want to access your uh, root directory, so you can come to here and you can click on properties and this is mounted on your SSD, all right? So this is pretty much it, guys. This is how we install Arch Linux on a hybrid setup like this where we have one SSD and one hard disk or maybe even two SSDs. This is how you can play around with this. If you like the video, please do subscribe to this channel and please drop a like on this video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.